Criticate! <laughs> Welcome back to Goth Dead and Beyond. Oh yeah. The only store in the mall we can buy MCR in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. They said it was five years ago. That's not that bad. So what do we want to do? Band t-shirts, ironic mugs, or... Clarence Dude, ironic ben. mugs. Are you fucking ironic kidding mugs? me? Yeah. yeah, I was going for that. I'm suddenly stricken by existential fear. If there's only one number one dad, then why are there so many mugs here that You say would that? not find that in a hot topic. This, <laughs> this whole time, I thought I was the only one. If I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad ranking Stop charts? Stop talking the way that you talk to Amanda I have into work your own to head, do. you fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, who is this? I don't know. Dude, do you want to take it? Well, this is very important to me. Oh, I overhear a stifled argument over the at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. <laughs> oh, fuck, wait. That's the wrong guy. <laughs> just to pretend I did that in a different voice. Listen, when I bought this... Oh, wait, I gotta give him a slight British. I, I, don't, that, I don't think that's... When I bought this online, the website said the blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. I think it's dressage. Fuck you. <laughs> Do you want a you coupon? You want a coupon? <laughs> I can give you a coupon. Can you leave if I give you a coupon? Is the manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. Wow, sounds cool. I see. Well, it would seem that I've outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. <laughs> post. Whatever, dude. <laughs> the man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. Fucking <laughs> Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh no. Hey. Datron 5000, can I get this butthole service t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll buy it for you. Uh, whoa, that was easy, thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt on the counter and grins at the cashier. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love your hair. <laughs> I was just reading, like, just playing the game. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. Is this Susie? So what will the? G <laughs> so what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes and so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. That's oh, wait, it's a girl. Yeah. That's Damien. <laughs> He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. Aren't we all? She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. I think that's Lucian's dad. Maybe. Guaranteed. Probably. Amanda and I sit on the couch, trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool! Long haul paranormal ice cream <laughs> ice road ghost truckers is on! Your favorite, right? Oh, hell yes! They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Oh, God, I kind of hate <laughs> all of the, the layers of irony this game is drowned in. Nah, I like it. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint, Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh, no! <laughs> the ghosts are not control the truck! I can't steer them down the damn lost roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. If I were about to die. Ah, I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like they're saying, you're going to die. Hmm. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> this is art. Oh, that's you. <laughs> this is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. God, I hate her. I hate her so fucking much. <laughs> Why is your heart so filled with hatred for this irony? I, I don't know. I just... I. It's, it's all sarcastic. It's, That's, it's too sarcastic. No, for me. it's not. I, I, I like the I writing. I just, I just hate the way that it specifically is funneled <laughs> out of Amanda because she is like the main precipice of where the irony comes out of. I guess. There's a lot in the dad, too. There is, and I'm not a huge fan of him either. I guess. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint, Dogbone, after their disastrous ice road in accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Flint. <laughs> I, I, I don't think we're going to make it. 
We're gonna make it, Callum. I guarantee you, we're gonna make it. Hold, hold my hand. I got you, brother. <laughs> I kind of just want to play Flint and Callum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morning, Sayhead. Oh, God. Five more minutes. You have never, ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Oh, fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. So, excited for the cookout today? Uh, oh, excited to beef up my grilling skills. That's a dad thing to food. say. I'm excited. Eh. Yeah, let's, let's do this. I'll see this as a learning opportunity. If I can snake some hot grill tips, I think we can consider it a success. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Especially huh? that Robert died. I'd really hate it if he spoke to me. Oh, I'd really hate it if he started kissing me. And I'd hate it even more if he started slowly taking off my shirt. Dad! Uh, Your beautiful work in progress. <laughs> we'll get that butterfly to emerge from that cocoon. Oh. That, the social butterfly. Well... Not your penis. Just, I want to specify, don't put your penis in any of these men. If you, what? if you had sex with any of these men, I would be really mad at you. I just want to let you know that forwardly. If you have had sex or will have sex with any of these men, we, your, our relationship is over, Dad. Well, we better start getting ready. <laughs> we definitely don't want to be late. Huh? What? No. We, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're going early. Just because you said that. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We rock... Isn't it morning? Yeah. We walk across the street <laughs> to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. That's a dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open and wide. Oh, I'm ready for this. Welcome! I'm so glad you two are here! And you brought veggies! Hmm. Let me introduce you to my family. Get! Come on over here! This is Chris, my oldest. Hey. Hi! <laughs> <sighs> this is Christian and Christy. They're twins! What? They stare creepily and say nothing. Oh no. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> but of course, there's our youngest, Krish. That's confusing. Wait. That's you. I forgot. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Wait, where is Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. You were going to introduce him? He's his fucking baby? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. It's the woman from the bar the other night. What is she doing here? Oh, and how can I forget my lovely wife, Mary? She's a fucking huh? slut. Shit, do you remember her... Do you remember her, uh, her, her voice? voice? No, I don't. I don't remember. Wait, was it me? I think it was, it was you because I, I took okay, Robert I'll just after. Do whatever I think. I Joseph did. pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? Ah, uh, I'll have to go look for him. <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> what? You'll have to. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. <laughs> Mary, this is our new neighbor, Keith, and his daughter, Amanda. Ah. Uh. Shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to attend to. Mm. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> nice to uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mary leaves. Oh, God, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. It all takes it takes all my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. Oh. <laughs> my wife is such a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Wow, I think I've actually met everyone else. <laughs> Great! I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope <laughs> you both enjoy yourselves. He's on the verge of a mental breakdown like every Constantly, second. Yeah. <laughs> Manda and I mill around and try and find try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to have to make friends. Dad. Come on, Dad. 
Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? But I don't want to have to do any pleasantries. I thought it was parties. <sighs> Dad. Uh, they're going to talk about weather. Dad. Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. Yeah. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I am surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from that coffee spoon? Oh, dang. Robert's here? Oh, shit. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my oh, head? Oh, that guy. <laughs> Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in Dead Goth and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second. All these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I better investigate. <clears throat> oh, who do we go to? Okay. So... Burger time. Burger time. <laughs> so who do you want to romance? Let's, let's, let's discuss. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we should... Yeah, let's discuss right now, and then we'll, yeah. we'll pick a, We'll pick next episode. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll discuss it, we, and then we'll pick between <laughs> episodes, and then it'll be a good, good cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I think... We, we already fucked Robert, so I think yeah. Robert and Brian are off the list. Uh, Brian is the asshole, right? No, Matt's the asshole. Matt's Brian the is, asshole. I don't remember who Brian... Brian. Was, was he the barista? No... <sighs> No, that was Matt. That was Matt. That was Matt? Yes. Okay. Craig is your friend. Craig's my friend. Hugo is the teacher. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Joseph and Damien. Uh, Damien's the goth. Yeah, and, and Joseph, Joseph is... Hello! Uh, Wait, which one? <laughs> that explains a lot of them. Oh, that's uh, the, 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 the guy who's house grant. Oh, 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 okay. Sure, sure. Um, all right, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll decide we'll between decide, episodes. We'll so, uh, if you want to check it out? You want to see who we uh, we uh, we chick we pick a, <laughs> chick, pick a choose? Chica, we pick a subscribe, cheese. Go to subscribe to uh, Critic Aid. Go to uh, we want to go to right down right down to the point down below. You'll go to subscribe to Critic Aid. Maybe like the video. Maybe comment. Bye. <laughs>